Hello guys, I'm Julia and welcome to my very first video, which I'm trying to record for the third time. Today, as you have noticed in the title, we are playing The Sims 2 I'm Surrounded by Idiots challenge. Now, I haven't played this challenge before, it's gonna be the first time, but I really, really love the idea, which is you have this household, it can be huge, it can be tiny, but in the household you can control only one sim as, as long as other members of the household are concerned. You don't know what their wishes, like wants, fears, needs are, nothing like that. So for this let's play through challenge. I have chosen the Veronaville neighborhood because I think it looks really lovely, it's pretty, I love it, wonderful, awesome. Anyway, first things first. I have already created the sim like during the first attempt to record this. Yeah, his last name is Holder because he's a torch holder, you know. And we have this lovely little starter urban home for him to move in. Okay, do we want to move Holder family into this lot? Yes, please. Okay, here he goes, already inside the house. Yeah, I must say that I love this, I love, love, love this little cat scenes. Okay, okay, that's quite a cute little house to start with. Well, you can see we have only one bedroom in it, with this small, really small, cute kitchen. What do you want are? Need someone new, okay. Sure. We need to bring someone into the household. Gain okay, a cooking skill. Perfect. <laughs> I don't want you to burn the house. So as so I completely randomized his personality. The Libra sign was already chosen when I created him, and as you can see, he's rather sloppy, outgoing, rather nice, and lazy. Perfect. Okay, and his turn-ons are Callow, blonde hair, and his turn-off is Vampirism. Yeah, by the way, he has family aspiration, so that's just what we need to create a huge chaotic family. Okay, so we're going to wait for some of the neighbors to come by to greet them, to say hello, hi, how are you doing? Okay, so as he wants to learn the cooking skill, you're gonna learn the cooking skill. Here comes the first visitor, paper girl, I believe. Well, he learned his first skill, perfect. And he wants to get a job, but you need to be more specific, my friend. Alright, here goes Mr. Humble, the first visitor. No, it's actually the second visitor. Finally, the neighbors. Uh -huh. 
check her out. Two bolts. But you know what? I have actually decided not to mess around with the pre-made families in Veronaville because who knows? Maybe I will play with them someday, sometime. And I don't want to interrupt the story which is probably going on between the existing households. I hope you know what I mean. Yeah, so here they have a little chit chat. has two bolts with wonder with wonder as well yeah, she looks rather nice except for this grandmother dress she's wearing And here comes Anna. Like, you know, I thought, why not? Like, we have to bring somebody to the household as soon as possible. But she can set you up for a blind date. But let's see how it turns out. Okay, she's starting to clean. She started to clean her bowl. <laughs> And I decided to ask her for a blind date. I want my date to be female, please, because I want to have a baby. And it's the same system, I guess, as when you try to resurrect using the nec necrophone. So the more money you give, the higher the chance that you get, <laughs> that you don't get a zombie for your blind date. Yeah, the higher the chance that you will get a person, a person meeting your sims chemistry so so i gave her somewhere in between because we only had like 126 dollars and i paid her 65 <laughs> she wasn't happy with and look who she got for us here chloe i guess Yeah, Chloe, I know. Your life could have been better for everyone. I tried to send Jeremy to a community lab to meet a new sim, but for some reason he kept like he kept refusing to go anywhere. So the first place we find ourselves in is some sort of an art museum. I actually don't know if I have ever traveled to this particular place before, but it for sure looks interesting. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there are plenty of sims on this lot. But probably it's because we just arrived here. All right, here goes the girl, but she doesn't have blonde hair. Maybe she's wearing cologne, who knows? And yeah, she's definitely not a vampire. But I decided not to get acquainted with her. Oh, looks like we didn't come here for nothing after all. 
At least we learned that our sim, our torch holder, is excited about arts and crafts. So it's going to be his favorite hobby. I'm getting quite desperate to find a new house member. <laughs> so I decided to go to a nightclub. Maybe there will be more sims to sim to use. Oh my god, she looks gorgeous. Let's see what happens when they meet each other. Hmm. So for some reason he had heart bubbles about her image, but the relationship status shows that they have like minus one bold attraction. Hmm. But I don't feel like giving up. So let's start getting to know other female sims on the world. Uh -huh. There comes again Metal Beckett. And since we didn't have a chance to meet her, well, because I didn't want to, yeah, we didn't have a chance to get to know each other better, I think we should introduce ourselves to her. And look at that, you guys! They have two bolts attraction, and she's not from Coronaville, so I guess it's a win-win situation for everyone. Yeah, I had to check again, because for some reason the turn-ons don't work the way I expected them to work. She obviously doesn't have blonde hair, in fact she's quite the opposite of that, but for some reason they have two bolts. So I don't know. Oh, and she accepted his flirting. So here we go. I decided to form a group to be able to bring her home. And here you can see them chatting and flirting, doing all that stuff that makes you closer to be able to ask somebody to join your household. Anyway, the time ran out, that's why he asked her on a date, like right away after their hangout ended. But since we play I'm Surrounded by Idiots challenge, I cannot by any means expand her once on Fierce panel, so we are going to act based on what Jeremy prefers to do. And for some reason, she keeps thinking about Gilbert. Yeah, finally, we were able to ask her to move in with us and you guys just look at how much money she brought to the household. Well, we had 60 something millions, but it says she brought 9,000. And yet, for some reason, we have 9,960. Math, I guess. And any time I would like to switch to other members of the household for whatever reason, we should retract the toolbar just the way you see on the screen. And I believe you cannot see, you cannot look at their relationship, work and personality, nothing ever. Uh, 
and turns out she actually has a job. Uh, what a fortunate coincidence it is. She looks just the perfect match for our sloppy and lazy torch holder. And has a job in the army. In the end, I bought them a phone and the burglar alarm because now we can afford it. And just as I wanted to finish the recording, Meadow got the chance card. And actually, she was promoted and came back home, like right away. So, as you can see, I've decided to make Jeremy propose to Meadow, and she agreed! Now he wants to throw a wedding party and marry her. And that's it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. So, do whatever you would like to do, give it a like, give a thumbs up, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!